everything you need to know how to replace the clutch on your favorite Toyota Echo, Yaris or Toyota Platz. In this episode we're going to remove the gearbox called transaxle or just the transmission. Let's get begin, everything pretty much straightforward. Open your hood, first remove the battery. Remove engine cover. Remove air duct. Undo the air intake clamp, disconnect MAF sensor and purge solenoid valve, disconnect the vacuum lines, Remove air filter housing. Mark throttle body coolant lines. Remove bottom engine shield. Remove radiator cap and drain engine coolant. Remove throttle body module Disconnect throttle position sensor Disconnect coolant lines Remove throttle cable. Disconnect the electrical connector from the throttle body. Undo throttle body bolts. Undo upper radiator hose.
Remove radiator support bar. Remove a plastic shield. Remove hood lock. Remove the horn. Disconnect radiator fan motor, remove a lower radiator hose, remove the radiator, remove starter wiring, undo the starter bolts. What is that bad? Remove the stirrer. Undo bracket bolts. Remove slave cylinder bolts. Undo bracket bolts again, disconnect backup light sensor, undo gearbox shifter cables. Mark shifter cables. Block the wheels and remove the wheel caps. Remove drive shaft lock nut. Loose tire lug nuts. Jack up the vehicle. Take from tires off.
Yeah, he killed me. Spray penetrate and oil on the thyroid and joints and ball joints. Nuts. Cut stabilizer bar links off. Remove tie rod and clip. Separate tie rod end from the steering knuckle. Robert's got an article in one of the. Remove ball joint clip. Well, under the crown nut. Separate the ball joint from the steering knuckle. Pull the axle from the hub. We did a good job, no damage to the rubber boot, check it around, otherwise you need to replace the ball joint, which is, shouldn't happen. Just be nice to it. Drain gearbox oil. Right passenger side CV axle out. Do the ground wire, remove steering shaft plastic cover, Set the steering wheel straight. Place match marks on the sliding yoke and intermediate shaft assembly. Loosen sliding your bolt. Disconnect speed sensor connector.
install engine support bar support the engine from underneath with a jack Disconnect engine and rear mount. There's uh, two nuts and one bolt. Remove four bolts and lower suspension member. Right, the steering shaft down. Remove the suspension member completely. side axle look at this sun attach hand strap to the engine now Loose left engine mount bolts. Remove transaxle mounting bolts.
Support the gearbox with a jack. Remove engine mount bolt. We have everything disconnected and uh, we're ready to drop the gearbox. It's not too heavy. Actually, you can do it by hand. Just take it out. Place your engine support it and uh, remove the transaxle. Grab it from underneath. from the bottom a little bit here if you have a friend to help you he can hold it it's not that heavy it's a little Toyota there you go we have a transaxle removed it's on the ground thank you so much guys for watching if you like it please put a thumbs up share and consider to subscribe if this video helped you i would like to make more useful videos with less of flop and get to the point and next episode will be clutch installation and then we'll be working on putting the gearbox back and pretty much it thank you so much again stay safe read a disclaimer and have a great day and love your toyota okay see you soon Bye-bye.